Hey guys, it's Moody here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use PK Hacks on the newest version of 3DS firmware, and that should be 10.3.0. And I actually updated my DS today and got it all working, so you should too. So right now, it's safe to update your 3DS, and I know a lot of people have been asking what was up with the last method, which got um, patched up. So... If you're watching this now, you may want to do this as soon as possible because just as all the other previous methods, this is very likely to get patched. And also, I am not responsible and I'm warning you that if, I guess, you for some reason don't follow these directions <clears throat> correctly, then I'm not responsible for anything um, you mess up with your 3DS. But this is a pretty safe method and just as easily as you can install homebrew launcher onto your 3ds it's just as e easy to get rid of it if you do not want it so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to homebrew launcher and scroll all the way to preparing your sd card and you should click this link uh, for the homebrew starter kit and as long as you have winzip or winrar you should be able to open the file and unzip it to um to your computer so once you do that then you can also go to the other link that i showed you which is right here it's this this is the save manager that will help you extract your save files so you want to also download that both of these links are going to be in the description and right now these are the only two downloads that you have to do next you're going to want to go into your 3ds and honestly this 3ds right now i am not sure if it's on the newest firmware but we're actually gonna go check right now yeah I'm on 10.3.0 is other settings and then scroll all the way down and click system update and then it will update you to the current firmware this is actually really important for you to be on the most current firmware so I guess check just in okay never mind I am but just check that you're on the most recent firmware because you need to be on it in order for all of this to work properly and as long as you are then you will be good and we can move on to the next step the next thing you're going to want to do is take your sd card out of your 3ds and put it into your pc by some way just connect it to your pc so you could see the root of your sd card this would be the root of your sd card and as you can see i already have my previous files over here and i'm just going to overwrite them after I extract the starter pack to the folder I have right now. So that's extracted. You should have this folder and all of these three folders are going to go straight to the root of your SD card. And if you have any duplicate files, then just make sure that it gets overwritten and then you should be good. The third um, folder for save data backup that you see here is from my previous save manager. So don't worry about that for now. You'll get your own once you install the save manager. And here it's asking me to replace the files. So you want to do that. This is the first thing that you want to do. And this is, I guess, <laughs> the hardest thing. So while you're all over here, you also want to extract the starter. Not the starter. You also want to extract the save manager to I guess the same folder or whatever is most convenient for you and then you will have another folder open up over here and this is 3ds and you see this matches this folder so still click this folder and you should see save manager then you take this file and you drag it to the 3ds folder right over here and then because I, I already have this I don't need it but I'll just replace the files anyway so right now this is all that you need to do on your SD card and then I'll show you the rest on the 3ds now we're back to the DS, and um, you also want to make sure that you're on, I guess, any of the basic themes, because we're also going to install menu hacks, just so you don't have to keep using the browser tutorial I'm going to show you um, every single time. So you want to also go to the third link that you see in the description, and this is just uh, a link to the browser way to access homebrew so this first link you see here is for the old 3ds which is what i'm going to be using today and the second link here you see is for the new 3ds so in my case i have the old 3ds so we're going to do that right now and i'm going to show you what it looks like from my ds 
In order to access the camera, you just click L and R and then you should see it come up and start activating. And then on the bottom, you should see a little thing for QR code. So you're gonna wanna click that and let it enable itself. And then you see the QR should pop up on the top. And then when it finds the QR code, you should see this. Then you click OK and click yes to launch the internet browser and from here your DS should start um, flashing I guess on the bottom and then you'll know that it works it goes through yellow gray and then I think it just starts booting up into uh, the homebrew and this is exactly where you want to be and this is honestly a lot easier than the other methods that were available before So the script opens up your DS just flashes a bunch of colors and then you're back in the homebrew launcher So going back to the bottom screen here you have Everything you need right now. So this is the save manager you'll be using if from here you are content You can go to the save manager right now and extract your save files if you want to install menu hacks manager You can do that as well However, make sure I've made this ma mistake before make sure that you go to the home screen first And let me show you what I I did just in case beforehand so we're back at the home screen and then you see this little icon on the top left. You want to change your theme and make sure that and you first even if you have your regular white theme, make sure that you've at least accessed the theme shop once because if you haven't, it needs to generate the proper files in order for you to get menu hacks to work properly. I actually had this problem before and I spent a while trying to figure it out, but um, I just click do not use a theme. It doesn't really matter. And then you can go back into um, your homebrew and install menu hacks. Now that you're back in the homebrew launcher, you want to go to the menu hacks manager version 2.1. It should also already come in. Um, it should come with the whole package that I gave you first off. This is what your top screen will look like and you just click install and then it'll go through a bunch of um, installation paths and whatever and then at, make sure there are just no errors coming up. If there are errors coming up you're probably missing files or like I said you didn't access the theme um, the theme page at least once for the SD card to generate the files. So here you can click the A button to continue and what men the menu hacks is going to do is going to make it so that you don't have to access the browser anymore and I'll show you how that works. When you want to start up menu hacks you basically want to turn on your DS and hold the L trigger at the same time, the L bumper at the same time. And this is gonna make it so that it just boots into your homebrew launcher automatically. So it just all in all makes it a lot easier for you to access the save manager. So now we're gonna go into the actual save manager part and how you can edit your Pokemon. So another, what you can do right now is go to save manager over here and then if you click the d-pad you can scroll through any of your other titles but what you just want to have is pokemon ruby or sapphire or x or y i think this works for as well and then you click a and then this is the same process we did in the last video you will see a bunch of stuff come up and then at the top screen you'll have backup save, save data and then import save data and this is the save data backup folder that's going to generate once you backup save data and click a and then you can click exit from here you can um, turn off your ds and then put your sd card back into the computer once you've put your SD card back into your computer, this is the root of your SD card. You should have a save data backup folder and a file called main. And this file you can just open in PKHex. So we're gonna open up PKHex right now and show you what we have. This is what I currently have. And in order to import a file, you just click open and then you navigate to that folder and you click main and then you click open. And this is what you should have. Um, these are all your boxes if you want to edit Pokemon I'm going to have an annotation or a link somewhere to how to make uh, I guess legit looking Pokemon I do have a whole video on that so these are my boxes I really don't have a lot but I guess um, 
we'll just do something really quick and duplicate this to show that it works and then we'll set that just set that and set that so we're gonna have three empoleons and then in order to save you just go to save export save and here you want to make sure that you just click save and replace this file and then you're done that's all you have to do in terms of this and then you can put your SD card back into your 3ds just hold down your L bumper and then you should see the screen go a bunch of weird different colors that seem alarming but it should all sort itself out and boot into homebrew launcher and then you want to navigate back into the uh, um, the save manager and here you're gonna click select target for that and then instead of backup you're gonna click import this time around and click B and then you can click exit and then that's it you're done so this is definitely a lot more simple than before in order to get everything installed I didn't really run into any issues but I'm sure I mean I'm sure there are people out there that will and I can try and help so let me just show you that the three <laughs> the three lovely choice specs and polyons are gonna end up in my PC box in case you don't believe me so moment of truth we're gonna check our PC <laughs> and hopefully see a lot of empoleon so yeah we have three empoleons in the bottom of our box that we made and there you go i really try and keep these things as updated for you guys as i can because i know it's really important to you so if you guys did enjoy this video feel free to leave a like there's also another thing you can do with this um, new homebrew and that's installing Iron Ironfall and what you can use the Ironfall game for is making sure that you can get the 3DS homebrew and menu hacks and all that stuff back up just in case things get updated or things go wrong. So I can make another video on that if you guys want. I guess that's another um, another topic completely. But there's a lot of things that you can do with homebrew now. And um, this is one of them. It's always like the guy that um, updates this is always working on it and always working really hard. So I would appreciate it if you showed him support by following his Twitter, which is also going to be in the description. Um, it's definitely not like my program or anything at all or my method. And um most of the information that I do receive is from reading a lot of the reddit threads so those are going to be in the description as well if you're a person that gets more out of just reading than watching a video but as always I love you guys very very much and have fun uh, genning your pokemon again and bye